Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Thursday. And we're back. We got MLB action here. MLB season finally upon us. 15 matchups. Uh, buckle up. Ready for a long MLB season. Appreciate you guys. Um, 16K subs. Super dope. So good milestone to be at. Let's keep on going. And yeah, big MLB matchups today. I uh, hope you guys are ready. And just know the first, you know, the first week, the stats are going to not going to be much stats not going to be any eras right now for the pitchers so just going to try and give you guys info that'll help you uh for the whole season but especially this first week where there's just you know everyone's starting out fresh everyone's got a zero zero era and um yeah let's hop into it monster matchups 15 baseball all day and um starting with the atlanta braves versus the washington nationals Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 250. The Nationals plus 220 with the over under at eight. Um, we've got, I'll give you guys some stats here. And yeah, we got pitching for the Braves is Max Freed, and then pitching for the Nationals is Patrick Corbin. I'll read you guys if I can, if possible, for now, uh, their last few games against the opponent so uh max freed's the last uh few starts against washington were last season he pitched he's two and one in in those games pitched seven innings gave up three runs had four strikeouts pitched five innings gave up four runs had six strikeouts and then pitched five innings gave up two runs had four strikeouts um atlanta 16 and 2 on the road against Washington. 13 and 3 straight up against Washington. They've been very good against the Nationals. And uh yeah, I think I think Atlanta is primed to have a really good season this year. And um yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with the Braves on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 190. The Giants plus 135 with the over under at seven and a half. Pitching for the Giants is Logan Webb. And then pitching for the Yankees is Garrett Cole. Uh, against the opponent. Don't have any info on Logan Webb against the Yankees here. Uh, but for Garrett Cole, his last three, yeah, it's been since 2018 since Garrett Cole did pitch against the Giants. As far as all the stats I can find, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. But we'll go to his last game on the mound, which was in October. Pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. And he was solid all season, had his up and downs. Logan Webb, his last... Uh, coming off two good starts on the mound, pitched five innings in those matchups and only gave up one run. The Giants just one and five against the Yankees and, um, you know, struggled against the Yankees head to head here. Yankees, obviously these stats are last season, finished the season 11 and five at home, played well at home here. And, you know, I do like the Yankees here. I think they're going to be, a, uh, another very good team this season. And uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Yankees at home. Next matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites. Uh, I'm seeing different money line options here, but Red Sox opening up as home favorites at minus uh, 120. Baltimore plus 105 with the over under at nine. Pitching for the Orioles is Kyle Gibson. Pitching for the Red Sox is Corey Kluber. Uh, let's see. Pitch, their last th for Kyle Gibson. Um, he did pitch against the Red Sox in 2021. He pitched six innings. Gave up one run. Had four strikeouts. Corey Kluber uh, did pitch three times last year against, against the Orioles. Uh, he pitched seven innings. I'm sorry, he pitched five, five, and six. Gave up seven runs, four and four. 
and then had four, two, and three strikeouts in those three matchups. Baltimore, one and five against Boston, one and four on the road against Boston. They struggled against Boston last year, and um, tough Boston. I mean, what a, I mean, Baltimore, what a season they had last year, especially towards the end of the year. They were one of the hottest teams in the MLB for a while. They were playing very well. It's going to be tough to pick underdogs here day one on the road. It just really is. And um, I'm going to roll with Boston at home. Just don't like the fact Baltimore really struggled against Boston last year. And uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Red Sox at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Chicago Cubs. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Cubs plus 130 with the over under at seven and a half. Pitching for the Brewers is Corbin Burns. Pitching for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman. Uh, let's see. Last three versus the opponent. Corbin Burns pitched three times last year uh, against them. He pitched seven, seven, and five innings. Uh, gave up zero, two, and three runs in those three games. And then had 10, 10, and four strikeouts. Marcus Stroman did pitch three times last year against Milwaukee as well. First game, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs at five strikeouts. Then also pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, and had five strikeouts in that second game. Um, Milwaukee one and four on the road against the Cubs. Surprisingly struggled against the Cubs. Cubs finished the season 6-0 and at home. Or in one at home against Milwaukee here. Um, yeah, I think the Cubs are a decent underdog play today at home. Uh, they played well against the Brewers last season. I know it's a new year. And um, I'm liking the Cubs. I like them. I've been looking at this line. I like them. I'm going to take Cubs plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we get the Detroit Tigers versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa opening up as home favorites at minus 230. Detroit plus 205 with the over-under at 7. Pitching for the Tigers is Eduardo Rodriguez. And then pitching for the Rays is Shane McClanahan. Uh, Rodriguez did pitch one time against Tampa last season. He pitched... Uh, he pitched, barely pitched half an inning, gave up three runs, got zero strikeouts. So that is not good for Rodriguez. McClanahan pitched twice last year against Detroit. Uh, his first game, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs at three strikeouts. And then uh, pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. So yeah, I had one bad game against them. Detroit, 4-12 and on the road against Tampa. 1-5 and straight up against Tampa. They really struggle against Tampa Bay here. I like Tampa. I mean, going to be another good team all season long here. Shane McClanahan, been a very good pitcher in this league so far. And uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Rays at home. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Philly plus 120 with the over under at six and a half. Pitching for the Phillies is Aaron Nola. And then pitching for the Rangers is Jacob deGrom. Uh, Philly, let's see, Aaron Nola hasn't pitched against the Rangers here. Uh, but I'll just go his, his last few matchups dating back to last season. Pitched against Houston twice, gave up, pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. These were playoff games, so were tough games. Then pitched four innings, he gave up five runs, had five strikeouts. Yeah, his last his last three games on the mound were actually pretty bad. Um, then Jacob Degrom. It's honestly it's been such a long off season. Totally forgot Jacob Degrom is not on the Mets anymore. Big big pickup for the Rangers. If, if Degrom can be healthy, and uh, we know what he can do, and um, his last three starts, he gave up two, three, and five runs. We'll see if a new, you know, a new team is better for DeGrom here. But, you know, we know what DeGrom's capable of on the mound. Philly 0-7 on the road against Texas. 0-9 against Texas. They have not been able to beat the Rangers here. Kind of crazy. And uh, 
I personally don't like betting against DeGrom because I've just we've seen what he can do on the mound. He can he can have shutout games and uh opening day. I think he's got a lot to prove with his new team. I'm gonna roll with the Rangers at home. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Cincinnati Reds. Reds opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Pirates plus 115 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Pirates is Mitch Keller. And then pitching for the Reds is Hunter Green. Uh, let's see. Mitch Keller did pitch three times against the Reds last season. Pitched five, four, and four innings in those three games. Gave up one, five, and five runs. Uh, Hunter Green did pitch twice against the Pirates last season. Pitched six and seven innings. Only allowed one run. Uh, very impressive in those two starts there. I mean, crazy, these numbers. Pitt, 7-0 and against Cincinnati. 5-1 and on the road against Cincinnati. Then very good against Cincinnati here. And um, I think they're a decent underdog today. Not in love with it, with the Pirates. But, hey, got to look at the stats. Sometimes they've been very good against the Reds. And uh, I'm going to take a shot with the Pirates, plus 1.5 on the road. All right, next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Kansas City Royals. Twins opening up as road favorites at minus 160. The Royals plus 140 with the over-under at 9. Pitching for the Twins is Pablo Lopez. And then pitching for the Royals is Zach Greinke. Uh, Lopez pitched one time against the Royals in 2019. Uh, gave up two runs in six innings. Uh, but his last start last season, you know, coming off a seven inning, zero run performance. Uh, Zach Greinke pitched against pitched against the Twins one time in 2019. Uh, gave up two runs. I mean, that was a long time ago. But um, no, I'm sorry. That was a lie. Zach Greinke. Pitch three seasons. He pitched three times last season um, against the Twins. Granky gave up four, three, and one runs in three different games. You know, pitching around five or six innings here. Minnesota finished the season two and eight on the road. They were not a good road team here, and uh, but head to head wise, they are twelve and five against the Royals. Kansas City finished the season six and one at home. Not my favorite matchup on the board here. And um, I think I would take a shot with the Twins on the road. I think they're a better team. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I'm going to take a shot with the Twins on the road. But not in love with it. Next matchup. We got the New York Mets versus the Miami Marlins. Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 130. Miami plus 110 with the over-under at 6.5. Pitching for the Mets is Max Scherzer. And then pitching for the Marlins is Sandy Alcantara. Max Scherzer. Uh, didn't pitch against Miami last year. Uh, but, you know, we already know Max Scherzer, a great pitcher. Coming off two bad games. Two tough, uh, bad playoff games. Um, I'm sorry. No, the Mets weren't playoff games. Uh, but just coming off the two rough games against San Diego and Atlanta. But Max Scherzer had his had his moments last year. He was very good. So did Sandy Alcantara. Very, very good. Maybe underrated, you could say. Great season on the mound for Sandy. Uh, I mean, he's coming off just three one-run games. Pitching three-fourths of the game. Of most of his games. Pitching around eight to nine innings. And... Um, yeah, really like Sandy. This is going to be a pitching duel right here. And um, I think the under was the under six and a half. The under is probably a good play with both these pitchers pitching very, uh, very well. The Mets are six and two against Miami. And um, I think Miami very sneaky today. And um, I like the Marlins plus one and a half at home. Going to be a pitching duel. I'll take a shot with the Marlins plus the points. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the St. Louis Cardinals. 
Blue Jays opening up as road favorites at minus 120. Cardinals plus 105 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for Toronto is Alec Manoa. And then pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas. Uh, Manoa did not pitch against them last year. Same with Mikolas. But Alec Manoa, you know, his last three starts, he's only given up four runs. Mikolas, his last three starts, he's only given up three runs. Both pitchers pitched very solid last season. Toronto finished the season four and one on the road. Struggled against St. Louis, though. Um, three and six straight up against St. Louis. And, um,. Yeah, Cardinals, very good last season. Loved what the Cardinals did. They were very fun to bet on and uh, got a great lineup. I think they're a good underdog today. I'm going to take a shot with the Cardinals plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Chicago White Sox versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Chicago plus 140 with the over under at seven. Pitching for the White Sox is Dylan Cease. And then pitching for the Astros is Framber Valdez. Uh, let's see. Dylan Cease did pitch one time against Houston last season. Pitched five innings and gave up three runs. Framber Valdez pitched twice last season against the White Sox. Pitched seven and six innings in those matchups. Gave up two and three runs. Uh, you know, the big thing about Houston, no Jose uh, Altuve out. That's definitely going to hurt their lineup. Same with Michael Brantley. They're missing some heavy hitters here in this rotation early on. But you just look at the White Sox, 1-8 and eight on the road against Houston. 6-12 and 12 straight up against Houston. They really struggled against the Astros here. And... Um, I'm going to go against the numbers here. Maybe I'm wrong. I like the White Sox plus one and a half on the road. I just really think with Michael Brantley and Big and Altuve not in the lineup, we're just going to have to see how that affects their, how, how that really does affect their uh, rotation here because you can't make up for those two guys' uh, production. You know, you just can't make up for it. And uh, we're going to see how that really does affect them. If it does affect them early on until they return, we will see. But I'm going to take a shot with the White Sox plus one and a half for now. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the San Diego Padres. Padres opening up as big home favorites at minus 225. The Rockies plus 180 with the over-under at seven and a half. Pitching for the Rockies is Yerman Marquez. And then pitching for the Padres is Blake Snell. Uh, Marquez did pitch twice against the Padres last season. Pitched five and seven innings, giving up four and two uh, runs in those matchups. Blake Snell pitched three times against them last season. You know, kind of struggled. Gave up a total of 10 runs in those three starts. Uh, Colorado, three and seven on the road against the Padres. Two and six straight up against the Padres here. Um, I like the Padres at home opening day played well against the rockies last season i do like blake snell on the mound and uh, i'm gonna roll with san diego at home next matchup we got the los angeles angels versus the oakland athletics angels opening up as road favorites at minus 225 oakland plus 180 with the over under at seven pitching for the angels is shohai otani and then pitching for oakland is kyle moeller um, let's see, show, let's see, Otani pitched three times against Oakland last season, only gave up one run. I mean, what an unbelievable run Otani had last season and primed to be a great again this year. I mean, he's been, he was nothing but amazing, spectacular to watch last season. Moeller didn't pitch against them last season, but coming off a couple start, you know, coming off a one run and two run game. Pitched pretty well his last few starts uh, dating back to last season. LA 6-3 against Oakland. Yeah, I, I just can't bet against uh, when Otani's on the mound. Certain pitchers don't like betting against them. 
And uh, I'm going to roll with the Angels on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 170. Arizona plus 145 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen. And then pitching for the Dodgers is Julio Urias. Uh, Gallen pitched twice last year against the Dodgers. Only gave up one run. Pitched very well against them. Uh, Urias pitched twice against Arizona last season. Only gave up two runs. He Urias was very good on the mound last season. Unbelievable year for him. Arizona 2-12 and on the road against the Dodgers. Yeah, Dodgers just too, too stacked here. Not in love with Arizona. We'll see what kind of year Arizona has, but uh, I like the Dodgers, and uh, I'm going to roll with LA at home. In the last matchup, we get the Cleveland Guardians versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Cleveland plus 105 with the over-under at 6.5. Cleveland pitching for Cleveland is Shane Bieber. And then pitching for Seattle is Luis Castillo. Bieber pitched one time against them last season. Pitched seven innings. Only gave up one run. Castillo pitched twice against Cleveland last year. Um, only allowed one run, and uh, so both pitchers pitch very well. Cleveland one and seven against Seattle, one and six on the road. Seattle, what a year Seattle had last year! They're pretty fun to bet on, and uh, I think they're going to have another solid year again this year. And um, I think I'm going to roll with the Mariners at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.